hope you enjoyed the phases of the Moon Lab. Let's take some time to go over the concepts that you learned. The Sun illuminates half of all spherical celestial bodies, including the Moon, at any given time. The phase of the Moon depends on how much of the sunlit hemisphere is visible from Earth. When the Moon is closest to the Sun, its dark inside is facing the Earth. This is the new Moon phase in which at most it is a tiny crescent or not seen at all. During the week following this phase, more of the illuminated side of the Moon becomes visible. This is called the waxing crescent phase. Then during the first quarter Moon phase, half of the dark inside and half of the sunlit side are visible from Earth. Note that quarter Moon refers to how far the Moon has gone in its cycle and not what fraction is visible. Over the next week, more of the sunlit side appears during the waxing gibbous phase. When the Moon moves to the opposite side of the Earth from the Sun, almost all of the illuminated hemisphere can be seen. This is the full Moon phase. The Moon continues its orbit around Earth and less of the illuminated side is seen. This causes the waning gibbous, the third quarter, and the waning crescent phases of the Moon. It takes approximately 29 and a half days for the Moon to complete a full cycle. Now that you understand how the activity relates to the lunar calendar, let's come up with a few content statements. The phases of the Moon are caused by the light of the Sun reflecting off of a portion of the Moon. What phase you see depends on what direction the lit side is facing. It changes over time because the Moon revolves around the Earth. The phases of the Moon are caused by the revolution of the Moon around the Earth. The phases of the Moon are named after the shape of the bright parts on the ball. The term waxing means to increase in size or intensity. The term waning means to decrease in size or intensity. Thank you for watching. Take a look at the Moon this evening and see if you can figure out what position the Moon is relative to the Earth and Sun.